guys welcome back to the shack great to have you all here i am working in my i shouldn't say working should i playing <laughs> in my journal that i'm using for junk journal january it's a hashtag run by meg journals and um yeah put in the hashtag junk journal january and you can see everybody else's things uh, meg journals puts out a prompt for each day in January and I'm up to the 20th um, is, oh, this is where we got up to last time in last junk journal January video the folding page so where's my list uh, well if this is the 20th 19 18 this is 17 okay so we must have done the 16th folding I've got it written down here. Come on. 17 was top five. So I used some painting paper that I had, which I'm very, very low on. I need to do some more. And top five. So I um, had this picture out of a magazine of a, a gratitude jar, a jar that's been turned into a gratitude jar. And down here it says, count your blessings. And so in the gratitude jar, jar I've got these flowers coming out with just some old ribbon and I've made flowers out of book page and written my top five are God family friends pets and health so um there are my top five okay so that was 17 18 was keys and um <laughs> I'll take this out for the moment because I couldn't find any keys and then in a, a Daphne's Diary, old Daphne's Diary magazine, I came across this picture. I was starting to think, oh, I'm going to have to, um, you know, paint some keys or something. And I'm, I'm just going to start looking for stamps or, you know, but I didn't really know what I was going to do. And then I came across this one and only picture I could find of a key. So I thought, and it's also on the back, the same, same picture, but I didn't want to waste the paper on the back. So I thought, okay, I'll make a little flip up and I put these bits of burlap down here um, that already had this bit of ribbon sewn onto the burlap. So they're up there and they're kind of, I've only glued them across the middle there. So they've kind of got these little spots down here. Anyway, I'm flipping through my papers and I find a whole piece of scrapbook paper in this design. Keys, keys and keys and keys. So I'm like, okay, well I have to use it now somehow. So when this flips up, this can go in here. And I put that sticker on the back that's, if you look closely, there's some keys in there. That's when I was scrimping and scraping, thinking I had no keys. So um, that's a little journaling card that can go in there. And I had another little piece of it here. And that can go in there as a tuck. So I've got two little tuck spots, a flip, a journaling card, and Voila, that's our key page. And then the next page was handwritten. So I just, you, I didn't want to, you know, now that I'd come across this paper, I'm like, well, I can use this paper again because it's, um, it's full of postcards that are handwritten and um, it's got the stamps and everything on there. So um, that's my handwritten, I think that was the, was the, um, Let me see. 19. Hand, oh, hand lettered. Hand lettered. Well, hand lettered, handwritten. Same, same diff, isn't it? I don't know. But so I cut across and put this bit of burlap to hide my cut because my. Oh, and here it is right here. Do you think I could find this before? I couldn't find it. So I, I did a cut using an uh, old paper opening envelope knife. Um, but it was a bit jagged, so I put that bit across. And then in, made, so it made a little tuck. So when I glued this piece of scrapbook paper on, I only glued around the edges so that I could cut across there and make a little little hidden spot there. And this is a, a postcard from my mum. So um, that is, and that's definitely hand lettered, hand written. So that is in there. So that was an easy page <laughs> okay 
And so we're up to 20, which is today, which is also my husband and I's 33rd wedding anniversary. So yay us. <laughs> okay, so, um, so that, yeah, today is textured. Just let me double check that. I never trust myself. Yeah, texture. 20 is texture. Okay, so I just happen to have close by this bit of tissue paper. So I'm crunching it up. I'm going to whack some glue onto this brown paper, which is the next page. When I put this page in there, I thought, oh, it can be a little tough, but no, it's not going to be because it's going to be covered with this. I'm going to scrunch it up a bit, get some texture in there. And then when it's, this is my plan. Oh, maybe I shouldn't say the plan in case it changes. Well. I can say the plan and I can change it. So once it's dry, I'm gonna go over it with the ink and then I've got these stickers that are left over from a previous page we did. They're kind of 3D, um, so that's a nice bit of texture. Uh, there's a bit of ribbon. Um, yeah, so we'll see where it goes. Let's get the glue on. Yay! It's, this is good because I'm, I'm wanting to get into more um, mixed media stuff, you know. So this is this is good. Let's glue that down. We don't we don't need you to open. Where does this page end and the next one start? Up there. So twentieth of January already. Wow. So yes, my husband and I got married the 20th of January and 33 years ago it was a boiling hot day <laughs> like our wedding was at three o'clock in the afternoon so um it was you know we, and it was down on the water so we had a nice cool breeze but it was hot in the church okay let's get this on Scrunch, scrunch, scrunch on to the page. Just scrunch you in there. Get over there, get onto the glue. You don't want to? There you go. Okay, look at that yummy texture. Also could have used gesso, but then my hands would be white from patting it down like this. <laughs> And I think glue dries a bit quicker than gesso. Okay. So there we go. There's my textured page. All done. <laughs> no, I'll do some more to it. What else will it I do? Now, the ink. We'll see. We'll see if that's dry enough. I don't know what's going on with this ink lately. It's not showing up. But do I don't want to use black. I wanted to use brown. What other colour ink could we put on there? Uh, see, the green shows up a little. Maybe I'll just mix it up. Oh, there's a kookaburra. It was a kookaburra. He stopped. That was a very short kookaburra song. More ink. I think last time I used ink, I said I gotta get more ink. Well, I haven't done that yet. I love the blue, but it's, it falls out. And I think it'll be too, meh. What have we got? What about purple and green? That could be a nice contrast. Can you see that colour coming through? It's getting a bit, a bit there. A bit more green. A bit of technical stuff going on here. That'll do. Okay, that's that. Coffee. Yeah. Last sip. Don't you hate that when you think you've got, you know, more than you've got? All right, what was the next thing? This would look cool with some mushrooms, you know. I'm just gonna get a bit more 
green in there. Hang on. Okay, so I'm happy with that color. And now that I've added the color to it, I'm thinking that if you can see the markings of the paper going up, it kind of looks like a, a trees and vines going up. It's kind of a bit foresty. So I think it needs some mushrooms and things. So we're gonna just fill it up with stuff. So I've got some mushroom stickers here from this anti-aquarium sticker book. Um, so I think we'll start with this one. The only thing is these stickers, see they've got the green going around them. Should I cut that off or just not worry about it? Cause I don't know if I can be bothered fussy cutting out a sticker. I, don't know, I can't be bothered. All right. I'm not going to press down because I'm just going to do a bit of a bit of placing. See see where we want things to go. And these are a bit 3D. Mm, maybe down in there. Did I use my wonky house that I had? Would a wonky house look good in there? I can't remember if I ended up using it or not. If I didn't use it, what did I do with it? <gasps> that bent. Don't bend. Uh, I don't know. My wonky house has disappeared. Okay, so let's get another another mushroom. A low down one. Oh, ripped its head off. Oh no. Look. I ripped the sucker's head off. All right, let's just join that together. Now, if you're thinking, well, I'd like to do a page like that, but I don't have any mushroom stickers, just draw them or paint them, you know? Mushrooms are pretty easy to draw or paint, even though mine would look crappy because I'm not good at drawing, but you know. Um, let's get a big one. All right, I have a big horse, because this is made from a paper bag, it's, we have a pocket and I have this um, horse picture in here. Maybe he could be in the forest. Get down there. See, lucky I didn't glue him on. Oh, that looks pretty, doesn't it? Let's put the horsey in there. On our textured page, but I don't want to hide all my texture. All right, I won't hide anymore. Let's just... Um, You'll see it there and you'll see it there. We need another, need another mushy down here. Oh, I haven't used a red one yet. Just put a little, put a little red dude down there. Now we could do with some moss. What could be moss? You know, like, maybe I could just put, make it a bit more greener. We'll use some paint. Hmm. Um, okay, now more of these flowers. The stems coming up are cool. Oh, the flowers sniffing the horse. Oh, <laughs> do you know what I had said? Then the flowers sniffing the The horse is sniffing the flower. Want that one there? No, that one looks nice down there. Okay, there we go. Now would that be this? And then we've got this one. Go up there on top of the hole. Oh my dogs! Hang on a minute. Okay, dogs settle down. So let's get this. Glue it on here. Okay. All right. Now. 
got a bit of denim ribbon too that I think might be good up the top for a bit of blue a bit of blue sky cut the end of that off just fray it up a bit more that up there and I've got a bit of orange here that bit of orange fabric orangey that I thought could be the sun up there baby shining down and maybe just a butterfly in the sky sun's flying there or there the sun there I could move the sun over to that side and have the butterfly about there I think I like that. I've got to cut that some out there. All right. Let's get this cut out. I'm just going to have the it flat up the top there. So it's part of the sun shining down. I don't want the whole sun. It's too big. You can see that glue coming through, but I don't care. Oh, it might fade anyway. And this isn't sticking down, so let's just get that on there. And then let's get our sun. This is a weird sun, doesn't look anything like anything. I can't tell the shape because it just keeps bending up. and flatten it out with some glue. Oh, yeah, that works. Put that up there. There you go. Stick down. A bit of something something stay down I kind of don't want it flat we want it wrinkled up a bit and then we'll just trim that bit off there we go how's that looking the texture can you even see there's our top bit our sky and our sun and our butterfly. You can see the texture coming through underneath of the paper. Tissue paper. Okay, I like it. So there we go. That was 20. <laughs> what have we got next? 21. Experimental. Wow. That could be anything, couldn't it? Texture. Tick. Experimental. Mm. We'll see. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for being here. Happy crafting. Bye.